As we often encounter in the history of religion, warrior peoples have storm and thunder gods. Thus, among the Sumerians, En Lil ascends to the king of the gods, in whose shadow En Ki always remains. In later, Akkadian and post-Akkadian Babylonian myths, Enlil is attributed a very significant initiative, which reveals the patriarchal change of the pantheon. Enlil, as king of the gods, demands that the universe, Ankai, heaven and earth, previously considered as a unity and mothered by the great goddess Ninhursag Namu, or Mami Ninime, and dominated by the goddess of the great above, Inanna, henceforth be taken away from the goddess and be divided as follows. Enlil himself, who separates heaven and earth, Kramer 1 p. 401, takes over the dominion of the earth, Ki, while he transfers heaven to a new heavenly god called Aie, heaven. Thus, as the original goddess of Aen Ki, Inanna is patriarchally completely expropriated. It is remarkable that around 2500 BCE, first of all Enlil took over the rule over the earth and transferred it, in a later myth around 2200 BCE at the earliest, to Ki who is according to his name the Lord of the Earth.